What's up party people? My name is Daryl Wilson and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to add Google AdSense to your website. Now Google AdSense allows you to make passive income through your website by enabling advertisements. These ads can be placed anywhere on your website. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to put them on your website today, step by step. So I'll be walking you all through the process of start to finish. So we're going to take a website with no ads. And by the end of this video, this new website will have advertisements just like my website. So we're going to put ads on your website in three simple steps. Step one, we will sign up for a Google AdSense account. Now this is hundred percent free. It does not cost anything to get started. Step two, we will connect your website with Google and Google AdSense. And step three, I'll show you how you can insert ads pretty much anywhere you want on your website. So this is my current WordPress website, and this is something that you can expect to have on your website. On the right side, we have this advertisement, and if we scroll down, we have another one, and if we keep scrolling down, we have another one. Now, you can place these ads anywhere you want. You can limit the ads. You can, uh, you all have full control and flexibility over the advertisements on your website that'll help you generate money. So with that said, let's go to step one. So step one, we will sign up for a free AdSense account. You can click on Get Started. Now I want to bring you to this page where you're going to insert your website URL. So this is going to be your domain, your email address. You can choose to get emails from AdSense if you want to. And once you're done with this page, you will click on save and continue. Okay. So next I'll need to verify that it's actually me. So I will click on next. Now I'll go ahead and put in my password. Now, if you don't have a Gmail account, you will need to make a free Gmail account and this is required for AdSense. So you cannot be using other email addresses. You must be using a free Gmail account. Once you have put in your password, you will click on next. All right. Awesome. So right now we are signing up for AdSense. Just go ahead and make sure that this is correct. So your domain is correct. You can change this information. You can go ahead and put in your country. I am in the United States. So I will go ahead and scroll down to United States. And of course you have to agree to their terms of service, which I'm sure you're all going to read this. And uh, once you're done reading that, you will click on, yes, I have read and accepted the agreements and click on create account. Okay, cool. So this is the current homepage and this is kind of like a wizard. So I clicked on get started. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and put in your name and your personal information. You'll put the account type. If this is yourself or a specific business, and you'll go ahead and put in all this information right here and then click on submit once you're done. All right, cool. So this is the AdSense page. Now Google wants us to take this code and put it into our theme. However, we are going to use a plugin that was created by Google that'll make this process a lot easier. So you'll go back to your WordPress website and you will log into your dashboard. So you'll go to your dashboard plugins and add new sites as these sites. There it is site kit by Google. So you can just type in Google and this is the plugin that you'll need and it was created by Google. So this makes things a lot easier. So you'll click on install now and then you'll click on activate. Once this is done, you can click on go to dashboard. All right. So once you have Google site kit installed on the left side, you'll click on settings. In the middle part, you'll see connect more services. Now these are a few of Google services. So you can connect the Google analytics. You can connect page speed insights, tag manager, and on the left side, we see AdSense. So right here, where it says set up AdSense, click on that. All right. So once you've installed the plugin, it'll take you to this page here where it wants you to sign in with Google. So click on sign in with Google. And now we're going to connect our website with Google AdSense. So click on sign in with Google. Next, it's going to say grant site permission. I will say allow, allow and allow. Next, Google wants to know what we can have access to. So view your ads and data, view and manage search console for your data and manage the list of websites and domains you control for this. So I will click on allow. All right, next it's saying proceed. So I will click on proceed. Okay, next it wants access to our information so we can store it on our dashboard so we don't have to keep going to Google AdSense to look at our revenue. So click on allow and we can also add this to search console to make things a lot easier. So I'll go ahead and add my website and congratulations. You are all done. Your website is now fully integrated with AdSense. Pretty simple, right? Before you had to do a lot of code, but now with this plugin, it's pretty simple. So click on go to my dashboard. All right. So our website is now connected with search console. So on the AdSense, just click on connect service. 
So everything's pretty much done at this point. You now have Google AdSense setting up on your website. Uh, right here where it says go to your AdSense account to check on your site status, click on that right there. And it should take you to this page and we're going to go ahead and say I have pasted the code into my website and click on done. So the code was found and here I will click on got it, awesome. Now again, this is reviewing your websites and this can take maybe a few days, but I'm gonna go ahead and step further and show you how to place ads on your website once it gets approved. Okay, so once you log into your AdSense account, everything is approved, this will be your new dashboard. So it'll show you how much money you've made, the impressions, which is how many times people have saw the ad, it'll show you the cost per click, and it'll also show you the click. So you can see my balance is pretty high because I do have a lot of people clicking on ads, which is a good thing, <laughs> I'm making money. So on the left side, you'll see ads, and you'll also see sites. So click on ads, and this is going to be the site that I have listed. So your site should appear right here. If it doesn't appear, just go ahead and go through the process again of trying to get your domain verified. It might take a few days, guys, so that's really out of my control. Nothing I can do about that. Also, what you'll need to do before you actually place ads is you will need to go ahead and put in your bank account information. So you'll need to put in your bank account information because they need to pay you. So go ahead and make sure that you add your bank account information. So. Google AdSense can pay you. Now there is a $100 threshold. So what that means is they will not pay you until you reach $100 worth of ads. So you wanna get more traffic. And if you do wanna get more traffic, I have a video in the description below on how to get more traffic to your website. Now let's go ahead and go back to sites. So we have our sites listed here. So whenever you add your domains, they'll be listed right here where you can run advertisements on your website. On the left side again, we will see ads. Now Google always updates this and they always add things. So if this tutorial looks out of date, it's really not. It's just that Google constantly changes stuff. So you'll click on buy ad unit. So we have four different type of ads. We have display ads, in feed ads, in article ads, and match content. Now I'm gonna show you each of these just so you understand what these are because I actually have all of them on my website. I know, I'm awesome. So I will click on one of my blog posts and we have ad number one. So this this right here would be something of an in-article ad. So it's something that is within the article. If I scroll down, we will see the sidebar ad. So this ad would be something like a display ad. Display ads you can pretty much put anywhere and they also are responsive. So they'll adapt to your website and it'll, it'll look correct, it'll look clean. So if I keep scrolling down, I'll see this advertisement right here. I don't even know where this company is, Brilliance. They're getting free advertisements just by me making this video, but uh, if you want this ad, you will go ahead and uh, look at the in-feed ads. And then match contents where it's on the bottom of your page. Now, you can go ahead and enable auto ads on your website. So as of right now, I have auto ads on my website, which I don't really recommend because it makes your site look kind of spammy and you don't really have control of where the ads go. So um, let me go back to my, my Google Assets account and show you the automatic ads. So if I click on sites, you will see darylwilson.com and I believe it's actually under ads, sorry. Yeah, there it is. So under ads, so this is auto ads. Auto ads will automatically place the ads for you. Now you can always go that route or you can go ahead and turn that off anytime by clicking on the pencil and then right here checking off auto ads. So that's something that if you want to do, that's really up to you. However, if you want to add each one individually and specifically, all you need to do is copy and paste the code and paste it on your website. So for example, I will take the display ads and these are the ads that will be displayed on my website. So I'm gonna call this a sidebar ad because my plan is to place this on the sidebar and I will click on creates. Now remember, Google will allow you to make as much money as you want, but at the cost of making your site look spammy. So that's really up to you of how many ads you wanna add on your website. Just be mindful, be careful. You don't want to have a really spammy, ugly website. So what I'll do is I'll copy this code. I'll go back to my website. Now, if I wanna place this on my sidebar, I'll need to go ahead and go to my widgets on my sidebar and simply paste the code. So I'll go to my widgets. Now this will work for pretty much any theme. It'll work for pretty much any page builder as well. So uh, in your widget section, you will see the text code. So you will see uh, this right here, the arbitrary text. We're gonna take this 
and I'm going to put it in the sidebar like that. And under the text section, you need to click that. I will paste this right there. And then save, and we are all done. So now that advertisement will be displayed on the sidebar, and that's it. So I'll go back over here, and I'll say this is done. And I want the in feed ad this time. Now there's two types. There is let Google suggest, which is what I recommend. And there's also create the ad style manually. So what Google is going to do, it's actually going to scan your website and pick the best colors and scheme based off your website's color and scheme. Or you can click on create your ad manually and you can create your own specific ad for your website. Um, for this video, I'm just going to let Google suggest because this you're going to go ahead and change the font. You can change the color. Um, you can basically design the ads specifically towards your website scheme, but I'm just going to let Google suggest the style. So I'll put in my website and I will click on scan. Now it's getting a little bit more information about my website to create ads that are appropriate for my, my color scheme. Okay, so it sees my website and I'll pick something that it might resemble. So I'll pick this little uh, section here and then I'll click on next. And now it's going to basically try to create something similar that'll fit my website, but also make the ad look appropriate. So you can see how the, the, the text is bold and it also did take the font as well. So I'll say, you know what, that looks fine. So once you're done customizing your ad with the colors and the borders or whatever you wanna do, you can click on save and get code. All right, and once you're done, you will take the code. Also, if you're using a page builder like Divi, Brizzy or Elementor, you can simply type in HTML and take the HTML widget and put it on your website. And then you can copy and paste the AdSense code inside. And then you should get an advertisement that looks something like this. So that's how you can display advertisements with page builders using WordPress. Some of you also might be using the Gutenberg page builder, which is the default WordPress editor for WordPress. In order to display ads with Gutenberg on the top left, you'll click on this plus icon. You'll find the custom HTML block. You'll click on it and then you'll paste the AdSense code inside the block. And if you wanna see the ad, you can click on preview. And this is your new advertisement and it should be displayed like this on whatever post or page that you put for your website. So that's pretty much it. Make sure to check back to see if the ads are approved and then go ahead and follow every step in this video. And I promise you all, you will have advertisements on your website so you can all start making money, yes. So I hope this video helped you out. Hopefully by now you have advertisements running on your website. Now, if there was a problem, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Make sure to like this video. And until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take it easy.